Today we're going to be talking about applications of rational equations. And our first example is a mixture example. And there's, e there's three different types we're going to do. So if you see one where you're mixing different types of solution together, that's going to be your mix mixture example. Okay, so Aaron adds 80% brine which is salt and water solution to a 60% or 16 ounces of solution that is 10% brine. How much of the solution should be added to create a solution that is 50% brine? And it helps you it helps yourself out if you set up this chart. So we have the amount of brine. In our original solution, 10% of our 16 ounces is our brine. We added an 80%, and I don't know how much I've added, so our new solution is the combination of those, or the sum of those, because I took our original, what we added, to make a new solution. Our, our original solution is a total of 16 ounces. We don't know how much we've added, so our new solution is 16 plus x. Now the hint, the key here is to do percentage of brine in solution equaling the amount of brine over the total solution. So our percentage, we want our, our end solution. Okay, we want to create a solution that is 50% brine. So 50% brine solution the amount of brine, which is this, this here, so I have 1.6 plus 0.8x, all over the total solution is 16 plus x. Now solving that equation. I'm just rewriting because I wanted to make sure I had enough room, so I have a new slide in here. Okay, my advice, cross multiply. When I cross multiply, we get 160 plus 80x equals, cross multiply that way, we get 800 plus 50x, now it's just a matter of solving. Subtract the 160 over, we get 640. Subtract the 50 over, we get 30x. So x is going to equal 21 and one third ounces. So our next application is a distance example. And we actually did examples like this way back in chapter three, but this one's set up a little bit different. Lila swims for five hours in a stream that is a current of one mile per hour. She leaves her dock and swims upstream for two miles and then back to her dock. What is her swimming speed in the still water? So distance equals rate times time. Now we're looking for something involving time. So time is going to be distance over rate, okay? So her time going with the current. So remember, when you're going with the current, the current's helping you along. So her total distance is two miles. Her rate is r minus one because the it, the stream is helping you along, so it's taking away from your rate. Time against the current is the rate of the uh, rate she's swimming plus one, and that equals our total time of five hours. So now we have this equation: two over r minus one plus two over r plus one is equal to five. So rewriting that equation, we had 2 over r minus 1 plus 2 over r plus 1 is equal to 5. 
Now multiply this one. Since I have two terms on the left here, we have to multiply both sides and every single term by our common denominator, which is r minus 1, r plus 1. Okay, so when I take this and I multiply it to that first term, the r plus 1's cancel. So I'm left with 2 r plus 1. So the r minus 1's cancel because I have one in the denominator, one in the numerator. Now when I take this and I multiply it to that second term, the r plus 1's cancel. Now because I have one in the numerator, one in the denominator. So we have 2 r minus 1 is equal to 5 times multiplying those together we get r squared minus 1. Now multiplying all this stuff out we have 2 r plus 2 plus 2 r minus 2 is equal to 5 r squared minus 5. Get one side to be 0. Now this doesn't factor, so we have to do our favorite friend, the quadratic formula. Opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, now when I simplify that, I'm not going to go through the simplifying, that's going to waste time in our video. We get 4 plus or minus root 116 over 10, which simplifies. I can pull out a 4 from inside there, so I have 4 plus or minus 2 root 29 over 10, which is going to simplify even more to 2 plus or minus root 29 over 5, because I canceled a 2, a 2, and a 2. So now, you have to think about which one of these makes sense. 2 minus root 29. Root 29 is approximately 5. So I would have 2 minus 5. That would get me a negative number. That wouldn't make sense. So in your calculator, find 2 plus root 29. I might put that whole thing in parentheses divided by 5. When we're solving for our r, our rate, we have in our calculator, we get 1.48 miles per hour. Okay, our last example, and this is a work example, where you're talking about how much work can two people do together. So we have two people, and I apologize, I would have no idea how to pronounce those names. Uh, mow lawns together. One guy can, or girl, not going to lie, not sure. By that name, I apologize. Um, one person working alone can complete the particular job in 4.5 hours, and the other guy or person can complete it in 3.7 hours. How long does it take for them to work together? So if his rate is 4.5 hours for one job, how much of one job can he, what's his rate for completing the job? His rate for completing the job is 1 over 4.5. Okay, the other guy's rate is 1 over 3.7. Their combined rate is 1 over x. So we have 1 over 3.7 plus 1 over 4.5 is equal to 1 over x. I would give you guys a calculator on this. So in my calculator, I added these two fractions on my left together, and I got that answer as a fraction. So I used my math frac feature. So now we can basically take a property of proportions and say x is going to equal 33, 333 over 164 which is equal to 2.03 hours.
there are your lesson questions. There's one of each type on there, so follow the pattern that I set out in the video for doing each one of these questions. And you must show some sort of attempt. If it looks like you just put some random numbers in there, I'm not going to give you guys full credit. And again, please make sure that it's submitted on time.